Okay, so let's start. So our cash, cash budget for candy capers. And we'll do that for October, November, and December. Okay. All right. Now, the first thing I want to do is my cash receipts. So I've got cash receipts here. And I'll just put in debtors. Now my debtors is easy because the, these figures just come down from here. And so I've transferred my information. I've got 4,000 in my cash receipts, 7,400 and 10,600. Now we did have some cash sales in there as well. So I've got cash sales. Cash sales, I've got 1,000. 1,200 and 1,800. So I can tick off that I've done that one. I can tick off my credit sales. I can tick off that non-cash one. Is there anything else? We've got proceeds from a government grant. So that proceeds means inflow to me. So inflow. So that would mean that I've got this 1,200 here. Uh, I'll just abbreviate to government grant of 1,200 in November. I can tick off that one. Now that'll be my cash receipts. So I've got uh, 5,000 in October. I've got uh, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 9,400, 600, 800. 9,800. And I've got 10, 11, 11, 6, 12, 4. 12,400. Next I'm looking for my cash payments. So my cash payments is everything else. And I'm just going to go from the top of my list. So just because it's easier. And I'm going to have advertising. So my advertising is 1,000. And that's in December. Cash purchase of new equipment. Let's slide this up a little bit. My new equipment, when is that? That is uh, November, so I've got 11,000 in November. Uh, we've got credit purchases of my supplies. Now, what did it say about that? It said all credit purchases are paid for in the month after purchase. So if I'm purchasing it in October, I'm paying for it in November. Purchasing in November must be paying for it in December. Purchase, and that's in January, but we don't have to worry about that one. So I need to include this one and this one. So my purchases of 2,100 uh, supplies. 2,100 in November. And 4,000 in December. And I can tick off that one. My next one is admin. So my admin costs, I got 1,800 per month. And my last one is my salaries and wages paid. Salaries and wages, 6,500, 6,500 and 6,500. All right, now we just need to total these up. What have we got? Six, seven, uh, seven, eight, eight, three. Eight, 300. Got 11, 11, 13, 14, 14, 20, 2,500, 2,600, 21, 400. We got 4,000, 10,000, 11,000, 11,500, 12,300. Is that right? 4, 5, 11, 11,500. Ah, and 1,000. That's 13,000. 13,000, 
300. Okay, now, net cash flow is the next thing we need to uh, budget for. Which is my cash receipts up here, one, and my cash payments down here too. So I'll just do one minus two. Uh, as a note, so we've got a negative cash flow of 3,300, and I'm gonna indicate that it's a cash outflow by bracketing it. 9,800, 21,400, leaves me with 11,600. 11, and once again, that is a negative cash flow. And then we've got 12,400 and 13,300 would leave me with a negative cash flow of 900. Not looking good for this business. They've got a lot of cash outflow. Um, now, tells me here that my opening cash balance was 15,000. So I need to, we do this because we work out what our cash flow is from our bank. So opening cash. Let's slide this up a little bit. Opening cash it was fifteen thousand. Closing cash. So my closing cash is fifteen twelve seven eleven thousand seven hundred, and that just becomes my opening now eleven thousand seven hundred. My closing cash become a hundred. Once again, that goes up. We've got a hundred here, and that leaves me with a cash overdraft of 800. So if this is my cash budget, we start the period, or start the cash budget period quite well at 11,700, but we dwindle to 800. So last bit is discuss the cash position of candy capers for the months of October, November, December. So let's do that, let's discuss that. And uh, candy capers, Start, uh, start October with a positive cash balance of 11,700. This decreases to a overdraft in December of $800. Therefore, Candy Capers should consider Now what they should consider is deferring some ca deferring payment payments to later periods or obtaining loans a loan for the equipment Now in, that's indicated to me because they spend this money up here for this new equipment. So they could borrow the money for that, that'd give them a more positive cash position. Or if they were to defer these, well you can't really defer your admin or your salaries and wages, but if you deferred these supplies another month, that'd also have a positive effect here.